from Cloud Engines Incorporated. The Pogo Plug 2 is here. And tonight I'm going to unbox this puppy, find out what it's all about, and uh, of course, find out if it is truly the easiest to configure, easiest to set up, and easiest to use cloud computing device for the end user. The Pogo Plug, of course, being a uh, network attached storage uh, host, basically, uh, that replaces the need for a server and gives you an ability to plug in any number of external USB hard drives, giving you access to those drives, not only within your internal network, but from anywhere in the world through your high-speed internet connection. Very cool stuff, and we're going to find out how easy this is to configure tonight. First of all, let's take a look at what is in the box. Pretty in pink, as you can see. Boom. Fairly well packaged. There she is. Try to do this upside down. There. Second gen Pogo Plug 2. Actually, not quite as hot pink as I expected. It's, it's got a little bit uh, of a softer tone to it than than the web images tend to give. You can see, uh, now to my surprise, we've got a USB 2.0 port on the front of the device, as well as three on the back. Now I knew there was four, but I was expecting all four to be on the back. So nice that there's one on the front. If you want to, you can have that thing set up, plug in your flash drive, and be able to access that from around the world as well. Um, so that's a little more convenient than having to plug it into the back. You can see also it's got this uh, cable management uh, system here so that uh, your cables don't get uh, pulled out of the back. We've got the power in input uh, as well as uh, Ethernet and the three USB 2.0 ports. The rest of the box looks pretty empty. Let's see here. we got some black satin looking stuff. Pogo plug from Cloud Engines. we got a warranty. What do we got? Uh, warrants this product uh, and its accessories uh, against defects in material and workmanship. Parts, labor, warranty is good for repair or replacement, and the duration of the warranty is, come on, one year from the date of purchase. There you have it. There's the warranty for the Pogo Plug 2. It uh, looks like they are putting a real focus on the uh, iPhone. You can see that they've got the imaging and also on the packaging. We've got a little bit of information about the iPhone. Use your iPhone or iPod Touch to share and access your Pogo Plug. Watch movies. View and share photos with friends and family, listen to your music, or access your important documents from anywhere straight from your mobile phone. How sweet is that? Uh, but that's not what I'm going to be using it for today. Now, I, I'm going to assume that the wiring and things like that are underneath here because there's nothing there. And there we have it. Boom. See how simple the, uh, you know, everything is. There's really not a lot to it. There's not a lot of extra stuff. You get what you need. Nothing more, nothing less. Here we go power cord. First of all, before I get started on hooking this thing up, let's review what we got. Okay, we got the power cord, we got the Ethernet cable, okay? Excellent. Uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to find out how long this actually takes and see if we can actually pop a bag of microwave popcorn before, in the amount of time that it takes to set up the pogo plug. So are you ready for this? I've got, uh, I've got my Ethernet cable, boom. Okay, I've got my power cable, I've got my Pogo Plug 2, and I've got my external hard drive, as you can see. So, starting up, begin popping the popcorn now. Power cord. Let's get that into the cable management there. Boom. There we go. Nice and good. Let's plug that puppy in. Boom. Here we are. we got a little bit of flickering action going on. Excellent, that's got to be good. Ethernet. Boom, it's in. USB cable for my external hard drive. Boom, it's in. Turn on my hard drive, and let's see what happens. In real time. So I'm going to bring up this website, my.pogoplug.com. And it's asking me if I want to, if I'm a first time user, activate Pogo Plug. Let's try that. So I've connected router, connected power, connect storage. Okay, next. Connect power, yeah. Connect storage, yeah, did that. Okay, is the top light green on your Pogo Plug? Let's take a look. The only light is green. I don't know if you can see that or not under these lights, but it is actually solid green. Okay. Next up, click next to continue. It is checking. Oh, congratulations. Your Pogo Plug enabled device was located and is ready to go. Hit next. Okay, now what? Enter my email address. Okay, 
what else we got. Password. Make it something strong because you don't want people to be able to access your files. I agreed to the terms and conditions. I've already read them in the past. You will want to do that. This may take a couple minutes, but my popcorn's going to be ready soon. Let's see what's going on here. We've got activity lights going. We've got some flashing going on on the Ethernet cable. And activation is successful. Let's take a look. An activation has email has been sent to your email account. Return to sign in. So I assume I got to check my email. And I've got this email, welcome to Pogo Plug. Click here to finish activating Pogo Plug. My Pogo Plug. Okay, well, here we go. We're in and we're in. Welcome, your Pogo Plug enabled device is up and running. You're now ready to access it. Look at this. Those are the two folders that are sitting on my hard drive. How cool. Okay, so I'm just going to create a new folder called test just for the demonstration purposes and go in there. Remember that I'm actually creating this on my physical hard drive that's connected to the Pogo Plug. How cool is that? I'm going to quickly add a file. So I'm going to go to um, just grab a background, say, and upload that file to my Pogo Plug, which is to say my external hard drive. Notice that it's automatically created a thumbnail for that, but also if I click on it, it's going to zoom in to a full size so that I can actually see. Well, not a full size, but it actually zooms up the picture for me so that I can see what it looks like. Um, you also have different views, just like you would with uh, Windows Explorer or Conqueror or uh, Nautilus. You're able to do that. And then, of course, whether you use uh, Windows, Linux, or Mac, uh, you're able to actually mount this hard drive through the Internet as a mapped hard drive, through your network, through the Internet. So, uh, so what that means is, is if I set up my computer to automatically mount that drive to a drive letter in Windows or to a mount point in Mac or Linux, um, I'm able to access the files on it, save files to it, uh, a full cloud computing environment with, without any hassles, without any fees. Uh, it's really, really straightforward and as easy to set up as you've seen here. This is the Pogo Plug 2, available for only $129 from pogoplug.com, making the Pogo Plug not just one of the simplest cloud computing devices to configure on your network, but also one of the most economical. For Category 5 Technology TV, I'm Robbie Ferguson.